All right, folks, welcome to San Diego. My name's Kyle, I'm a captain on the Airbus 320 in real life, but I'm gonna show you uh, in my flight simulator here, just some information about takeoff and things of that nature. Uh, we're climbing out of San Diego today uh, with a theoretical route going to San Francisco. And if you're unfamiliar with my channel, we typically talk to nervous flyers and, and help them understand aviation and see how just just how calm and choreographed flying really is. And so typically we talk a lot about emergencies. The last video we did was about rejected takeoffs. But today we're gonna just talk about what a normal takeoff looks like and uh, how kind of mellow it is. And so I'm gonna be talking through some things and I'm not gonna be giving specific call outs that we actually use, but more so the idea of what we do. So let's start uh, here and in, in what we're gonna simulate effectively is that air traffic control San Diego Tower has cleared us for departure off of runway 27, and that would sound something like dial a pilot 320, runway 27, clear for takeoff. We would read that back, we'd verify that this is indeed the correct runway, runway 27, and then we would turn the parking brake off and we would start taxiing out there. At most airlines, uh, the captain does the taxiing, although some different airlines allow first officers to taxi as well. Uh, it just depends on where you fly, really. So the captain at the airline I work for would taxi out here. It is pretty slow, we don't taxi the aircraft very fast, and so as we would work our way out here, we effectively own the runway at this point, so if we need to slow down, we certainly can do so. So we're working our way around the corner here, and we'll also simulate that this is a captain takeoff. Sometimes the first officers fly, we split the legs uh, half and half, and so we'll simulate that I'm actually doing the flying here. So we turn onto the runway here, a couple last second verifications, all the switch positions are exactly where I want them, that's a technique only. And then we push the power up. So here we go. We're gonna push the power up to 50% N1, which is the speed in which the engine is actually spinning or part of the engine. As it stabilizes there, we're now gonna push the thrust all the way up into what's called TOGA. And I'm gonna verify it goes into that. TOGA stands for takeoff go around. We check the thrust, we make a couple of call outs. We're now watching the airspeed and I'm saying, okay, there's a hundred knots. We're now in the high speed regime. We've talked about that before. And here comes V1. We're now going flying. My hand comes off the throttle. We rotate smoothly into the air. As we start to climb away, there's positive rate. We're climbing away from the ground. The landing gear comes up. And now I'm pitching up to what's called the flight director. And the flight director is on the primary flight display. It's those little green arrows, the, the green crosses rather. And so now I'm turning the aircraft to the right to follow those. We're following out what's called the Padres departure. And so as we climb away, we're now gonna go through a couple of different things. So the airplane on the primary flight display is now telling me, hey, I want you to go to lever climb. This is the time in which you told me you were gonna reduce the thrust. If you've ever flown on an Airbus, you're probably pretty familiar with this point because it gets kind of, the best way I could put this is it's a distinct slowdown of the engines. And so you can really hear them slow down. So now we're gonna bring the flaps up. So the flaps start to come up, the airplane is accelerating. And at this point, we can call for the after takeoff checklist. And that's gonna verify that the landing gear has come up, the flaps have come up, making sure that there's no memos on our ECAM, which stands for Electronic Centralized Aircraft Monitoring. As long as there's nothing there, we get to continue normally. So we're climbing away that the, the uh, air traffic control tower would now tell us dial a pilot 320, contact SoCal departure. And we would contact them and say, SoCal departure, dial a pilot 320s, 5,200 climbing uh, via the Padres departure. And they may give us a higher altitude, dial a pilot 320, climb and maintain flight level 280. We can go ahead and set that in our autopilot there. And now we're just working our way up and we're climbing away. We're accelerating to 250 knots. If you're interested in aviation or know a lot about aviation, you may know that there's a speed limit below 10,000 feet that we have to follow. 250 knots is that speed limit. Above 10,000 feet, we can essentially go as fast as the aircraft can, uh, can withstand pending any uh, slowdowns given to us by air traffic control, but we tend to fly based on schedule reliability and predictability, meaning we don't want to arrive the aircraft really early. We don't want to arrive the aircraft really late. We try and make sure that we're following that schedule as, as to the T as we possibly can. And so we'll actually change how fast we're flying throughout the flight, which is why sometimes we can make up time. Sometimes we cannot make up time. So that, those are some things that you might hear. Now we're climbing through 10,000 feet and we would do a double ding in the cabin, which just sounds like two chimes. And I do it using the no smoking sign. And that lets the uh, flight attendants know that we're now above 10,000 feet. We're out of sterile cockpit. So you can call the flight deck and talk to us about things that are not necessarily safety of flight related. Um, you can uh, begin your service, things of that nature. 
And so now we're continuing to climb away. The autopilot's still not on. I'm still hand flying the aircraft, but let's see what it looks like with the autopilot on. So I make sure the airplane's on the flight director. We're still uh, accelerating here and the autopilot comes on and I'm verifying that it's actually on using, again, that primary flight display. It tells us what the airplane's doing. So it's saying, hey, I'm in thrust climb, climb, which is the vertical mode that we're using, navigation, which is the lateral mode that you were using. And then on the far right side, it says AP1, autopilot one. Uh, and so we're continuing to climb away. It's now accelerated up to about 295 knots. We're climbing through 13,000 feet and we're well on our way to San Francisco at this point. So uh, we would be looking at the speed in which we need to get there. Do we need to accelerate the aircraft, slow the aircraft down? So again, that's that schedule reliability stuff. So the whole point of this video is really just to say that the takeoff is a nice, smooth, choreographed uh, procedure that we use. And there are also very choreographed procedures if there's a problem during the takeoff, which would be anything along the lines of uh, an engine failure prior to actually lifting off the runway, an engine failure after lifting off the runway. And we go through those every single time. And so we're ready at the drop of a hat to have to deal with one of those experiences because of course you don't know when it's gonna happen to you. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions or ideas or things you'd like to see next, please don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I always appreciate uh, your support and your ideas. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch.